I've been wrestling for 17 years. I've been training, drilling, and sweating for 17 years. In March, eight men will climb the podium as All-Americans. This is my time. I am Stephen Monk. It's four o'clock, just got out of class. Um, coming here to the BSA before our match to get a workout in before weigh-ins. That's good for us because it gets our lungs blown out, gets uh, any little bit of weight off we need to get off, and uh, in general just gets us ready for the match. As far as uh, them putting in a different guy, I mean, it doesn't change my game plan. I gotta go out and do what I need to do to win the match. And uh, in the second period, I didn't do that. I mean, I thought I started off the match real well, uh, getting a takedown and uh, two-point near fall, but then second period I kind of took my foot off the gas pedal a little bit and that kind of screwed up the momentum of the match I had going in the first period. You know, being the first time down to weight, I think he did a good job at, uh, you know, managing himself, managing the mat and his strategy uh, while he was out there. So it, uh, you know, I, I think it gives us a lot to look at and things we can, we can learn from and get better. Yeah, it's a, it's a big accomplishment. 100 wins in college is a big deal. It's like equivalent to like the 200 wins in high school. It's not everyone gets it and you gotta be, gotta be good to get it. It feels good, but I got a long day ahead of me so I gotta get ready for the next matches I got coming up. Oh yeah, it, it's definitely been really tough this semester. Actually tougher than what I thought it was gonna be. Um, I mean, my days start at getting up at 5, 5.45 in the morning going to morning workout, then coming here, teaching all day, standing all day. We're gonna line up over here, we're gonna do a little dynamic warm up. Make your opponent move. So if they're standing way in the back court, hit when he first told me what he was doing, I thought, wow, this is gonna be hard, you know, cause there's, there's so many things that I'm demanding him to do or asking him to do and, you know, he fulfills all of those things. That's actually helped, uh, helped him out a, a lot as far as being able to open up and, and share his story with kids and his, his ability and commitment. I think it, it ultimately helps him become a better leader on a wrestling program. And you just can't volley in the no volley zone, hence why it's called the no volley zone. Um, after I'm done wrestling, um, I kind of want to stick around here, finish out grad school for a year, help out the team. Then after grad school, I mean, I'm just gonna look where I can get a job. I really am not too picky where I end up. I just wanna get a job, start teaching, and then um, see where it takes me from there. Steve's gonna have to He's gonna have to, you know, figure some things out uh, on the wrestling mat if he really wants to, you know, get into the national title match. And I think that's his goal. And there's no, uh, you know, no reason he can't be there. So he's gonna have to put some some extra time in, and he's gonna have to again learn how to manage his, his time a little bit better throughout the day. And uh, you know, I think he'll be there at the end when it counts. <laughs> 